I don't think this one's going to last that long. Do you, Duke? Not really. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, Guys, please don't forget, as it says there, to like, comment on and share the stream. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for alerts on new content. And as always, we thank you very much indeed for your support. So, we are here to discuss, as it says on the banner there, the match that took place at London Stadium yesterday. And I was there. Braved the elements it, there in the cold. And <laughs> it, it was for us, it was a it was a nothing game. We discussed this. For us, the yeah. we'd already sewn up top place. And we've obviously we've got the injury concerns that we've got. And then obviously I saw that the starting lineup and he it was a it was an entirely under 23 back line and I thought okay and Sonny Perkins was up top and so five kids I was I was quite happy with that in in, in a lot of ways you know how you doing Perna Sir Chan all good um three minutes later Duke I had the, the wind rather knocked out myself has to be said was a was a fantastic goal but it was it was indeed. It was a bloody good finish. As people were saying, it took a little deflection as he as he took a shot and all the rest of the malarkey. But listen, he came in off of that wing with every intention of letting go. He let go, mm. and and the outcome was what he intended. The ball ended up dipping over the top of Ario, the top bins. I ain't gonna lie, to you, mate. I was really impressed with the goal. Really, really impressed. Great finish. Certainly one of those. Um, you know, I'm not going to call it a fluke. I'm not going to call it a no. fluke. No. It's one of the ones that caught us. It caught us out. But, wow, what a finish. What right a good goal. Yeah, and we knew he was mate. a good player because, I mean, he was he was the guy that scored the hat-trick against the Spuds um, well, we in the same competition it, we? last year, didn't we? So we, we knew yeah, he was, was a decent player. Yeah. But, my word, he, he hit that. I mean, I was like, wow. You know. There's only one and... place he was going. It was, it was, it was... Destined for top bins the second it left his foot. It was a great finish. Um, yeah. And, I, you know, it kind of it, it kind of put everything then, you know, as such on the back seat, it, uh, on the back foot, sorry. Um, and we found ourselves, uh, I think, I just think struggling to get a, to get a foothold, to be fair. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, and I've, I said it in the uh, the match blog. It was. I don't think we and and this isn't sort of like having. I, I don't mean to come across as being negative or whatever because I I try, I try. You know me, Duke. I like to try and sort of look on the bright side of things. And the bright side is that we had a lot of kids that got uh, that got an opportunity last night, which. Given that you know, let let's put it this way: if we'd if we'd have gone into that match yesterday needing a result, and if we hadn't have had the injury issues that we've got, those kids don't play. So yeah. I'm quite glad, in a funny sort of way, that how things panned out has it happened. It was a nothing game, yeah. Yeah. So they've they've got their they've got their opportunity. Um, and let's five, not stick five around, guys. Two from the bench. The, the kids, as we were just saying before we came on, listen, the kids didn't do themselves any harm yesterday. No. I was, I was, I'm saying kids. I mean, listen, they, they're kids compared to you. Um, and me. Sorry, I thought I missed that bit out. Sorry, I meant and me. Uh, that's fine. Um, Don't worry, I'm used to it. <laughs> um, they, as I say kids. You, you know what I mean? I, I don't think they did themselves any harm, bro. No. You know, I was... And, and again, as we go through... Um, I, I was really impressed with a couple of them. Not, not, not and I, that sounds like I was shocked by the fact that they had some good games. I wasn't shocked that they played some good football. I, you know, um, there was a couple of them out there that I felt um, if we need them to at some point, they can step in, and I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be upset to see. Um, you know, Elise or Baptiste alongside Dawson or Diop, if that's what it came to in the Europa League game, the other side of, you know, March. Um, I wouldn't be ashamed to see Longello start against Burnley on Sunday. Do you, do you see what I mean? Because yeah. it, these guys, 
they performed admirably. And as I said to you, Rob, before we came on, I was more pissed off with the fact that the senior players mm. didn't, for me, fulfil their potential with regards to the game. I'd absolve considering... two players from the starting eleven from that particular criticism. One being Mark Noble. Yeah, I, I, the... I personally thought he played. Um, I, I think. Listen, he 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 walked them kids through that game. Yeah, he degree. babysat them. Um, and I would no, I wouldn't even say babysitting, mate. I just think he took them through the game, walked them through it. He kept giving. I don't know if you noticed, and it was it was something I actually wrote in some notes. Was that every time he got the ball, he gave it to one of the youngsters. I'd say ninety percent of his passes went to the youngsters. Yep. Because it felt like he wanted to bring them into the game, and he did. He wanted them to feel comfortable on the ball. Um, you know, throughout the game. He didn't want that something to happen where, oh, shit, I've got the ball, what do I do with it? Yeah. He, he kind of coached them through and it was really, really good to see. Who was your other one? Uh, Alex Crowell. And I know that his levels tailed oh, off. Of the... dick. Oh! Well, I don't get it. I, I thought he did all right. And people forget, yeah. he's still, he's, he's not long come back from COVID. He's barely kicked a ball. Yeah. What do you expect? He was never going to last 90 minutes in terms of his performance. It just wasn't going to happen. I actually no. thought he, he was he was all right. I thought the first half he was fine. Second half he tailed off a bit. But that's absolutely understandable, isn't it? Yeah. I, well, listen, I, I have to say, I thought, you know, again, I don't want to, I don't want to start kicking off with the, uh, uh, give me a second. I tell you what, while you're doing that, I'm just going to answer this question. I, okay, I, I was just replying I did, to that. <laughs> that's right. I did sure. see it in the corner. I wasn't ignoring you. I was waiting just for an opportune moment. Um, yeah. Listen, they're in the Europa League because they weren't good enough. They finished third in their group. The, the table doesn't lie. They, I think they, correct me if I'm wrong, they scored two goals in six matches. Yeah. That's, that's piss poor. No, I can't dress it up any other way. You're telling me Listen, that you're I'm averaging worried, a goal every three games. Really? I'm more worried about Dortmund than Barca. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I'd i take Barcelona right now. Not a problem. Dortmund. I, oh, and I've said it. Right. I you want, give them a run for your money. Yeah, I, I want Dortmund purely from... I'd love to have the opportunity to go to the Westphalen Stadion and the Yellow Wall and... and, and just hear their version of "You'll Never Walk Alone." I mean, that would be eighty thousand people. I mean, good God! But well, don't get me wrong. It you depends know, the, on their situation. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Barcelona. Listen, uh, they're a prestige club. They're a, they're a magnificent club. Let's let's make no mistake. Yeah, but they're not the Barcelona of Messi, Suarez, Neymar, Xavi, Busquets, Iniesta, Puyol. Etc. Etc. Do you know what well, I mean? You it's not that... over two legs, Casey. Yeah, yeah. So you, in a way, I'd would, actually quite, you? I'd actually quite like to play them because I think we've got a better chance against Barcelona than we'd have against Dortmund in a funny way. Yeah. But but yeah. for the, you know, for the fact that my my team would be playing against the team. Uh, I mean, I I consider Dortmund right now to be on a higher level than Barcelona. So, oh, yeah, without a doubt, mate, yeah. Yeah, so so from that point of view, I'd be like, yeah, Dortmund all the way. But if we get, if we got a Barcelona, do you know what? You, you, listen, if we want to oh, win this legs, tournament, mate. we're going to have to beat these teams at some point. It Whether is. it's yes, in the yes, final yes. or the semi-final or in the last 16 round, whatever. So... Yeah, you know. I agree with you, yeah. But... Uh, Opinions on Frank de Jong haven't really got any. It make fair. a good backup to Declan Rice. <laughs> well put, well put. Um, shall I get the teams up, Duke? Yeah, go on. Here we go. So, hang on, let me get rid of that banner, and I'll go full screen with that, and I'll get rid of that. When you saw the team line up. What, what did you think he's gone a little bit mad with the kids? Were you concerned? No, no. I mean, if you if you have a little look at the game at the, at the um uh the preview before the game, I do believe, and I'm correct me if I'm wrong. I do believe that uh, Ken Ken Hammers got that spot on. 
I -hmm. believe that was his 11, right? And I I was buzzing, mate. I was absolutely buzzing to see the kids' names on us. Again, I'm saying it again. The youngsters' names on there. I was. Um, I don't think Perkins got the the support he should have got yesterday from the two players either side of him. I completely agree. I think that he was... I, I felt he was playing a lone role up front. And I thought his we hold-up play looked decent. He, yeah, listen, there were a For few times... Old. That, um, I can't remember who the, the commentator was. Um, is it John Champion, I think? Oh, uh, uh, and the... Uh, who was the, um, the co-commentator? Oh, the co comms oh, I can't remember now. Was it Martin Keown? I think it was Martin Keown, but I think they had an Ian someone on there. I don't listen to that. He, he turned around and said that the ball bouncing off of... Um, off of him on his control, Perkins. Mm. Wasn't anything to do with his touch or his control. It was more to do with the quality of the balls that were being pinged into it. And yes. I, think, I personally think Perkins made the best of a bad situation. I'll tell you, I thought yesterday at times we were playing a 4-5-1 because of the way the distance between uh, Vlasic and Yarmolenko from Perkins was painful. It mm. was horrible to watch because I'm thinking, here's a kid up front who... He's getting absolutely buckle mm. from two senior internationals either side of him. And I would say hurt. that Vlasic, I thought, was the one out of Second half, the two I either side. Tried harder. Yeah, yeah. Yarmolenko, Yarmolenko didn't try a leg. Forever long. No, listen. Um, there, there were people, and, and I, I've got to be honest with you. I feel bad sometimes when I do give him stick because uh, then I remember Chelsea. Um, but, yeah, but that was a long time ago now, well, Duke. I mean, that's that's a, a season and a half ago. He's, he's, he's earned about two and a half million quid out of us since then. Exactly. So I'm at a point where if I never see Yama in a West Ham shirt again, I'm not going to be upset. Yeah. I'm not going to be upset. I thought he was the worst player on the pitch yesterday. Hmm. Yeah, I, I actually think he was worse, right, than Alan McKnight ever was for the club. Alan right? McKnight? Yeah. Yarmolenko was worse than that man that couldn't catch a cold. Right? What, what, what about Roberto? We, I think we... he was... Mate, I'd, I'd rather have Roberto in goal than Yarmolenko play again on the right-hand side. Really? We're talking yeah. that bad? That's, that's, how, that's how frustrated, pissed off, call it what you will, that I got with a guy yeah. yesterday. I really, really did. And I have to say, between Vlasic, Yama, Nobes, Kraut and Fornell, I was, was very disappointed with those five. Mm. Uh, you know, rather than the other five that were on the pitch. I'll give the kids some leeway. And I yeah. have to say, for me, um, Longello and Ashby looked like they wanted to do stuff. They were, they were getting forward in that second half. Because yeah. they, I think they were, I think they were realizing, and and to say this about a couple of youngsters that are playing, you know, their first starts for the club at senior level, and especially when we're talking in Europe, okay, yeah. these youngsters <laughs> realized that Perkins was getting Jack Diddley squat from Vlasic yeah. and Yama that they pushed themselves. They so had to step up to the plate. They left us a little bit exposed at the back, so they, they, you know there's a learning curve for these two lads. Yeah. But they pushed up forward to try and force Vlasic and Yama inside to get closer to play alongside Parkins. Yeah. So then he wasn't left so um, so isolated up top. And, and I'll give Longello and Ashby a lot of credit for that. Some idiot on Facebook was saying that do these kids know how to play football. I didn't see the two centre backs jump for a header. They were poor. I never want to okay. see these kids in a West Ham shirt again. Must be a troll. That's a troll. That's a troll. But he, mate, he's he been in. You know, he's been in a group that he's been in the West Ham group on Facebook for like three years. So he, you know, if he's a troll, he's a long term troll. Do you know what I mean? These are, I'd normally expect to see a a Tottenham fan rock up for about a week ago and then start talking bullshit. This was a guy that's been in West Ham, West Ham chats for, for some time. 
Yeah. Um, and I've got to say, seeing that, I was like, what game are you watching, kid? Because I'm telling you now, those young lads did a job yesterday, and I was impressed. How are they magic it. mushrooms? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm telling you now, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be averse to see, um, you know, Long Gallo start a left back. Or even I think Johnson he's a better option at left, left back, back than than Masuaku. Oh, mate, you're a better option at left back Steady. than Masuaku because you might be able to defend. <laughs> I can I can defend me dinner. Yes, there's that. That's a start. That is a start. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I mean, I I I thought that. And, and just to bring it to your attention, guys, um, that are watching this live, we've actually got a poll going at the moment on the YouTube channel. So oh, get yeah. stuck into that man of the match. Um, got four four candidates for you to get your teeth into. Harrison Ashby, Manny Longello, Aji LSA and Jamal Baptiste. Longello's got 80% of the votes at the minute, but there's only five votes that have been cast. So get stuck into it, people. It's there for you. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I personally thought that Ashby was, was in my opinion, the man of the match. I thought in the first half, I thought Longello, I thought his final ball wasn't quite there, in my opinion. I do think that in the second half, it came a little bit better in in that aspect. Um, but they're kids; they're they're making. I mean, Ashby's played in the first team before. But I don't believe um, Longello had up till yesterday, unless I'm very much mistaken. They've they've basically the, the, any involvement they've had in the first team has been fleeting, if they've had any at all up to this point. Oh, yeah. And they these, here they are. They're starting a match. Yes, they would have known that the reason why they're there is because of exactly what I said earlier that it's a game that for us means nothing, and we've got injury woes and this, that, and the other. If it was a game that we needed to win. And we didn't have the injuries. Moyes doesn't put them out. You but, say that. I think Ashby may well have got the nod. What over Kufal? Over Johnson and Kufal for the simple fact is that we're going to need both of those at left back and right back. If, um, if no, I'm talking if there was back. no injuries. Yeah, no, yeah, but again, like even even then, I still hmm. think he would have got the nod because if Cressy isn't back then you're still going to need to use Johnson yeah. at left back and Ashby at right back. Surprised he didn't go with Masuaku, knowing that he's got the opportunity to be able to put Johnson out there. But I know Johnson has picked up the knock. So, again, yeah. you've got to put Mass out there. But, again, you're going to have to use possibly Mass if Cressy isn't fit on Sunday. So then you don't want to use uh, Soufal. You, you don't want to use them when you know you've got, you've, they've got a run of games coming up now. Right, so you're going to need you're going to need to make sure that you're you're keeping. And this is going to sound really bad, but you're going to need to keep your first team out of of, of shit now. And, you know, we're mm. we're in a situation where we've got players, and we are we are up the creek at the moment with regards to a back four without a paddle, because um, you know we got we got Burnley, we've got all good, Elliot. Bird. Uh, that's on the yeah. We got we got Burnley, Arsenal. Hang on, Burnley, Arsenal. Then it's the Spuds, it's the isn't Spuds, it? I believe. But and then on just... the twenty eighth, I think we've got. That's not yeah, Christ. Burnley, Arsenal, Norwich, Tottenham. Um, no, before no, we hit Spuds. Christmas. And then the yeah, yeah. See, so I know the Spuds are having a bit of trouble. That that. Has pissed me off slightly because I've seen their game for Sunday's now been cancelled. Yeah, yep. when you look at um, Leighton Orient in the cup, they had to give up their place in the cup because of COVID. They there must be something in the rules that say that they were allowed to do that. They can't. Yeah, I mean, no, was... but that's my point, mate. Mm. Leighton Orient had to give up their place in the cup because they had COVID problems. Um, but then, on the other hand, Villa had to play a team of kids against Liverpool in a cup game because they were riddled with COVID. Well, I'll the phone a minute. What are we doing? Mm. What are we doing? Because yeah, Leighton Orient missed out on a was that FA TV. Cup or League Cup? What, what that was, was League that? Cup. Okay, and and that would have been on telly. So then they would have got a cash cash payment from that. 
they lost out on cash for that. It wouldn't, yeah. didn't have anyone there because obviously we were in lockdown. Then you ended up with Liverpool, uh, with Villa being forced to play kids against the Liverpool side because they had a COVID issue. And they just go, it's like, again, mate, we're going over to the big six, aren't we? And mm. we're saying, yeah, go on. You, 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 the only thing I can think of is that unless it's a, it's a difference of rules between the competitions that you, obviously you're talking about League Cup competition against Premier League competition. That's the, that's the only thing that I can think justifies it because other than that, I, I can't. I'll tell you the I other thing that justifies it. it is because they still consider Spurs to be a big six. Well, I uh, what is they it they say said in House of Cards? You may very well think that, but I could not possibly comment. Well, no, I can, and I'm going to say bastards, um, <laughs> and I'm going to I'm, I'm going to dig out um, old uh, Jug Jugs uh, Gary Lineker. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Still doesn't want to give us credit for being false. We've got yeah. through. We got the top three in action today. Yeah. Now you've got the top four. Fuck it. <laughs> why? Why can't you bring yourself? Why can't? Why can't any of them? Because he's ex Tottenham. But they're still doing it, mate. When they're doing the um, on Sky Sports, when they do the um, the graphics, right? And they're talking about the the top four on a on a you know Sunday football Super right. Sunday, and they're still talking about. Tottenham and they're, they're, all their graphics for the Super Sunday are Tottenham, Arsenal, Man U. Last yeah. time I checked, we're, we're above all three of them. Yeah. Well, last time I checked, we've beaten two of those three. Fourth. Yeah, and we deserve to be there. Yeah. You know, and then, and then you've got then you've got Liverpool, Chelsea, and City. Which listen, I, I get that they're there. They're above us in the league. I get that, but that's like having Norwich. On a Super Sunday banner, I like the build-up shit. If they're playing, I get it. If, if Norwich are playing in a, on that, but that's not having West Ham Burnley. Well, we're playing Sunday, let's say. Hmm. What time's our kickoff? Our four? Our one. Uh, yeah. Let me have a look. It's uh, no two o'clock against Burnley. On telly or not? Um, I'm do you know, I ha- I got to be honest. I haven't even checked. Did I'm you assuming see the so. Three games at two o'clock this Sunday just gone. Yeah, there three was a game on, was there? On telly. That was crazy. Got no idea why that was. No, Leicester Newcastle is the one that's on telly on Sunday. So we 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 can't watch it. Some people. Some people might get an illegal stream. We wouldn't dream of that, would we do? Would never condone using no. illegal streaming channels no. like um, uh, Footy Pass or He's Goal. Would yes. never, we distance ever ourselves. condone using He's Goal or Footy no. Pass. Never no. would in condone a, using in, in actual Footy fact, Pass I, or He's Goal. <laughs> I, I don't know... Of what you speak of, Duke. I'm no, 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 no. These are only ones that I've seen um, banded around on on social media. That people in your pub. I know. Yes, yes, um, yes. Um, that I, I would never, I would never condone use it. I, no. I'm, I listen. I'm, I, I, I can quite easily say that um, I've never ever used one of those. Channels. No, me neither. Me neither. Or online, Paul. Without a VPN. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've never... Uh, don't worry. Don't worry. Let's leave that one there. <laughs> you might get in trouble with the missus. Uh, anyway, oh, just for just for balance, you that. might have noticed that I have put the Dinamo Zagreb team up there on the screen for you. And, and they're in wearing... Resplendent wearing 99 is the guy that scored the goal. I was like, he hit it, and that just that was like, there was no saving that. You could have had Fabianski and Ariola in goal, and maybe Chuck David Martin and, and Darren Randolph in for good measure. They ain't keeping Someone that out. Near it. Yeah, exactly. The only person that's keeping that out is Bob the Builder, and that's by sort of like him getting a load of bricks, cement. And even then, yeah. he probably would have struggled because it was after three minutes. So I'm not quite sure how much of the wall he'd have built. <laughs> In three minutes, he'd have had to go some. He'd have to build it from top to bottom. I don't think that's going to work. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh well, there you go. But uh, anyway, good finish. Moving that, on, it? It was just a very good finish. We'll get on to the obviously the stats, and we can just sort of carry on and have a little chat amongst ourselves, and just going a little bit. Uh, can I do you a Christmas quiz, Elliot? If listen, if you want, you can put it in the chat, and if if the people in the chat want to interact with it, then fair enough. In answer to your question, no, four players are out for Man United on Saturday with injuries. And COVID tests for Norwich, yeah, and and uh, yeah, they might have to cancel that game, Elliot. You know, you know, can't can't have one of the big six teams being disadvantaged like that, can we? Winds me up. Yeah. Don't get me started again. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I agree. Say... I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Um, I just wish Longello got to take a free kick. Yeah, that was. I think didn't Mark Noble there? I think in the second half no it was it the first half he took a corner and didn't even clear the first man that's the one thing mate I, like, I was about to say that yeah i was about to say that oh did i scream at the telly did yeah. i scream? what is it what is it with premier league footballers top quality footballers mm. that cannot miss the first man from a corner my god it's basic isn't it oh dearie me yeah, Mike's oh, saying he thought the deflection helped it. It was the slightest of deflections, I feel. Um, I think he kind of put his foot down, and I don't think it was a deflection. I think he actually <clears> bobbled <throat> the ball up. If uh, I've, thought, I've watched it a couple of times, and I can't yeah. get a decent angle on it. But as he, it's a bit like Ronaldo. I don't know if you've seen the video that does the round when he takes the penalty. He, I don't know how he does it. But there's a, there's, I've seen about six penalties that Ronaldo's taken. When he puts yeah. his foot down, quite hard next to the ball, the ball lifts. Yeah. And then it's like he's hitting it on a volley. He's not hitting it from a flat starting position. The ball actually lifts itself off the floor because he stamps down and creates like a shockwave that lifts the ball up, which then he hits it on the volley. Now, I don't know whether these are... Um, like doctor videos that I've seen of him doing that. Nothing but would I, surprise me. But then I think that that's the same thing with Fournells. I think as Fournells has put his foot down next to the ball, I think he's created a little bit of a a bounce off the floor. It's probably lifted it maybe, you know, an inch or so off the floor, which has given him a cleaner strike on the ball, which has allowed it to, to have the bit dip, bend, duck, dodge and dive and have a wrench thrown at it. That that's why they ended up in the back of the net because it was a bloody good connection that that yeah. moved all over the gap. Yeah. Who was your man of the match? Was it Why was it Longello? It was yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I I as I say I I went for Ashby. I just I just thought he shaded it because I I thought he was as I say I I thought that Longello in the first half wasn't quite on the same level as Ashby was. And then he sort of like he re sort of redeemed himself in the second. Yeah, they're playing now, aren't they? It's Careful, on we don't YouTube, want to get a copyright strike. No, no, no. It's on. It's on the West Ham. It's on the West Ham YouTube. It channel. is now. Is that so, the eighteens or is that the twenty threes? No, that's the eighteens. It's just kicked off. Literally, has just kicked off. So is West so Ham is Sunny Perkins in it? Versus, uh, Have you seen the lineup? I didn't see the lineup. No, let me. Trodge, do you know what the lineup is, mate? Because Trodge is watching it by the looks of things. So, be be appreciative if anyone knows what the lineup is. I'd be interested to know. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, to be he he got a few minutes last night, but he wouldn't have been. So, yeah, that that's fair. I'll tell you what. How good was that though to see to see that lad another come off the bench? Uh, yeah, you know what? Because I just felt that um, it, it was great. I, 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 that, that's it now. I've, I've seen three generations of, of you know, of Potts play <laughs> for West Ham. Yeah. You know, I, I, I actually had, I actually had a Mr. Reliable uh, shirt when I was growing up. His, his was the name that I had on the back of my jersey was Potts. Mm. I actually love watching him play. Um, uh, I think I think I actually played for uh, a thing called the Internet Irons, mm. which was a, a West Ham West Ham internet team that actually got 
tickets given to them by the club. And it was the year it was the, the year I played for them was the year after we had the Decanio Fila kit, which is what this oh, one is based on, yeah. isn't it? That would have been about um, ninety nine. And and um yeah, I, I refused to wear a ex player shirt so I could keep wearing my, my pots shirt because I had pots on the back of that. And um, we had a guy called Paul Newman who was the spitting Not the image. Actor. No, no. This guy was the spitting image of um of Paolo. Um, the way he walked, the way he carried himself. Um, and we were in Leeds, not so long after the, the Woodgate incident. Oh, him and Boya. Yeah, after they chose the young lad. McDonald's. Team. Yeah. So we were up there not so long after that playing a um, a world net football tournament. And we, you played um, a straightforward 40-minute game. And we got drawn against United, and this was obviously just Man United, and this was just after the mm. had scored oh, the, the Barthez goal. Yeah. And um, obviously, we've all got warmed up. Yeah. And Paul's walked onto the pitch in front of all of us, and we're we're not 10 yards away from the Man U lot because we're, you know, we were sat in different places around the pitch because we, there was, we, you know, we were, well, I think we played about eight games in one day. It was I was knackered. Yeah. Couldn't move the next day. And obviously, he's gone walking onto the pitch. And he's quite a, a, a gangly kind of character, like Di Canio, the way he used to carry himself. And you could hear all the Man U players, like the fans with the Man U team going, no, that can't be him. He had the same haircut. You know, it was hilarious. They actually thought we had Di Canio playing for us yeah. in the way in this tournament. I scored that. So it was all right. And we beat them one now. Do you know a funny a funny thing I found out after yesterday's game? Yes. I've got a very, very, very tenuous connection to Keenan Forsen. Oh really? A very, very extremely like I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> you wanna hear it? Go on. Okay. Um my daughter who you obviously know, Libby, yes. um, plays for Kent Football United. Yes. So did Keenan Forson before he went to West Ham. Well, that's not tenuous, mate. That's 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 there. Yeah, yeah. No, he's he's a he's a he's a product of my daughter's football team, Kent Football United of Dartford. I no, don't know, I don't actually I, I haven't actually found out, but he must be from the local area. Yeah. So oh, that's quite cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, I only found out about it today. I, I saw something flash up on um, Facebook, and obviously I'm on the, the I follow the Facebook page of KFU, and it come up and it sort of said, you know, congratulations to former KFU player Keenan Forson on making his European debut for West Ham. And I thought, oh, how cool is that? Fair play, player. Fair yeah. play. I mean, I think did we end up did we end the game with seven youth academy players? Oh, well, didn't one of them come off? No, to but, accommodate the other. Did no, but Noble finished the game, didn't he? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. True. So we started the game with, with six academy mm. products and finished the game with, with seven on the pitch. Because who was it that came off? The the Because the, there was one of the... Was it was it Perkins? Did Perkins come off? It might have been Perkins that come off. I don't think they pulled off any of the back four. Because they brought on, as I say, Keenan Forson. And no, I think, I, think the, oh. I think the back four stayed, stayed all on. the way through. Hang on. Let's yeah, there are Mike says. Mike, oh. Mike's just said in the chat Perkins, there. Perkins, yeah, yeah, came yeah. Off. yeah. So, yeah. But. Yeah, no, I, think, I... I think Rob's right. I think Rob's right with his comment there. I think is this, is this being best. played at Chadwell Heath or is this being played at Rush Green? I think this is at Rush Green. Is it? Yeah, and it's, okay. I, I think I, I think one of the floodlights have gone off. Oh, for Christ's sake! Mind I you, think, I was I there think. saying about floodlights. Was you, did I don't suppose you was at that game in around about the ninety eight or whatever against, against Palace. Palace, no, what when they all shut down? Frank Lampard scored the equaliser to make it two two, and about yeah. twenty seconds later, the lights yeah. went off. Was that the time that they were sabotaged that someone had got into That's the? It. That's yeah, it. it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there was a couple of games around that time that got. I think the, when they actually found out what was really going on 
was actually at, at the valley, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Obviously a ground that's quite close to us. And I think they, they found someone that was tampering with things that they shouldn't have been tampering with. And, and that was basically when the game was up. But yeah, yeah I remember that. I was, I was there for that game. He, he scored the equaliser. He wheeled away to celebrate and the lights went off. Fun, and, uh, it, yeah. yeah. And then, and, but the good thing was, so because normally West Ham thing to do would be to the game got replayed. And normally it'd be a West Ham thing for us to lose five nil or something like that. <laughs> um, we actually won the, the, the rescheduled fixture four one. So ah, well, fair play. Um, does it sound like I'm starting to lose my voice? Does it? Does it really? Is it a bit, bit sort of croaky and creaky? Oh. I was, to be honest, I, 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 I wasn't sort of going mad and sort of jumping. I'm, you know, listen, we lost the game, but you were just singing bubbles. I was, I was quite it. philosophical over it. I wasn't sort of like, oh dear, that's our season. You know, we the the, the, the youngsters have let us down. This, that, and the other. I, I was quite philosophical. I was, I was like, listen. <laughs> They've got some valuable experience. We've got to see what they're all about. And touch wood, I'm not aware of any injuries to any personnel on the back end of that game. So really, the, the sort of the defeat, not really overly concerned. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say I wasn't bothered, of course. Yeah, do I want my team to lose? Of course I bloody don't. But in the grand scheme of things, if, if you'd have said to me before the game, we're going to lose 1-0 in a game that means absolutely nothing as far as our progress in this competition is concerned. So what? It's not the end of the world, mate, was it? I, I personally think... I like to say, I think the boys played well. I, I think that um, the kids actually gave a bloody good account of themselves. I think that the normally boys... kicks off there, doesn't it, Simon? Chelsea and Leeds have a bit of previous... A bit of an edge. Yeah. Goes back to about is it 1970 FA Cup that basically stems from where they basically kicked lumps out of one another. Well, what are them kids? What's what you got? You got company? No, the, the kids are running around like a pair of knobheads. Um, Joe's Joe's out for the uh, Joe's out for the evening. She's at a spa day uh, somewhere. It's, it's a it's a spa. Bar entertainment, they've got like 80s entertainment. They booked it in for last year, but obviously something had happened. So they um they went tonight and um I'm left with a pair of fools that are running around the flat at the minute, making all the noise that I can hear. Um and then yeah, I've, I've had to make my way home, make my way back from Bromley. Gay, see you know you know you you travel a bit, didn't you? I do. How many how many train stations are there if ever green? What from Dartford. No, no, no. How many state train stations are there in Hither Green? Just one. Yeah, I thought so. That as well. Yeah. So when I got a train, um, uh, just just quickly, where are we? There we go, Rob. Yes, uh, it went really well. Thank you. Um, I learned a lot today, actually, from the stuff I had they to learn. They finally taught you to pull a pint properly. That's nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got a train. I've got a, I've got an Uber from from the from the pub to um. To Bromley North, Bromley North to Grove Park, one stop. Grove Park to Hibber Green, one stop. I got off at Hibber Green, right? Okay. Standing there waiting for a train. Oh no! Looking at my phone, looking at the times, nothing, nothing coming to Stone Crossing. Despite the fact that when I got in the Uber and when I got to Bromley North, it told me Grove Park, Hibber Green, and then to Stone Crossing. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. So Can I, I just, just, get... just, just before you you go on. I mean, how how do you feel about being referred to as Bert and Ernie? And if and if um and if I may sort of inquire, Pete, which one's which? What's the weirdo one that has a strange jumper on? They're both weird. Yeah, but you're the one with a strange jumper on. So that's not. They, they're a bit like sort of like Morecambe and Wise. Correct me if I'm wrong. They actually slept together, didn't they? I'd like to point out. I've never been in your bed. You have never been in my and bed. I, I want to correct, clear that up there. Correct. Correct. Yeah, so I got on the train, went back to London Bridge, got off at London Bridge, then waited seven minutes for a train that then went from London Bridge to Lewisham to Hibber Green, which was a completely different Hibber Green than the station I'd already been at. What? Yeah. 
the Hibber Green I was at right. had uh, had four platforms. Right. The Hibber Green I went to coming home from London Bridge. Yeah. Had, had one set of train tracks through the middle and two platforms. I only knew of one station at Hither Green. Mate, that's the only one I'm aware of. But the one that I got off at, off the Grove Park, had four platforms. It had two two sets of railway lines. It had platform one, railway line, platform two and three, railway line, platform four. I was like, this, this ain't normal. And then it came out, pulled out of the green and went to Lee and on the Sid Cup and, and, and that one. Not that anyone cares in the chat. I'm just like, no. I, I didn't know. I finally thought there was one Hither Green. I thought it was the same one. Obviously, you know, I was completely fucking wrong. Do you know who lives in Hither Green? Who? You'll never get it. Um, I'm you know, go you know that. Film, no, no, no. Not, oh, not, 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 not football related. Although, kind of in a way. Um, you know that um, BBC reporter Natalie Perks. No. Okay. Blonde, blonde bird. Again, no. Ah. Oh. Love, Is love, she lovely. Looking? She might be. Oh, I might have to go looking tomorrow then when I get off at Ever- Evergreen. <laughs> yeah, she lives in she lives in Hither Green. I'll have a little nose around. It's yeah. a big place. You've got two train stations apparently. Yeah, I I don't know quite where they fit it all in, dude, but there you go. No idea. Too many says Rob. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Platforms. We've got fourteen <laughs> votes on the man of the match question. Manny Longello's running away with it. Eighty percent. Bloody oh, hell. No, I thought we had a really good game. I don't no one's voted about... Jamal Baptiste. Yeah, again, I, I don't think either of them, I don't think either of the centre-backs stood out. In, a, in a, You know, I think they did their job. Hmm. Um, you know, I, I think, like I said earlier, I think Longello and Ashby pushed a lot further forward to try and, and, and it was quite amusing because it's, it's not like they had a conversation. Um, Lewisham Borough. South London, yeah. yeah. Lewisham Borough. Um, it's not like they had a direct conversation to say, right, we're going up front. We'll be gone before then. Um, we're going up front. We're going to, you know, uh, yeah, we're going to have to give him some sort of support. It must have just been like a look across the pitch and then they just both ended up bombing forward to false, false Vlasic and uh, Yarmolenko in a bit. To try and you know squash the squash the play, and I just thought Longhead was great yesterday. And like I say, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be um, adverse to having him or Ashby um, start in the Premier League. To be fair, I, I, I think they both um, I think they performed like I say admirably. I think they've shown that they're they're ready to the task if they get a set of circumstances that yeah. mean that they're pulled into the first team squad. Even and then if it's so did the other two bench. boys. Yeah, Even yeah, the other yeah. two boys, they, they, again, I feel they, they, they did their job quietly, unassumingly, and just got on with what was expected of them. They didn't I was actually look really impressed with Alessa in, in the post-match mm-hmm. interview that he gave. He, I yeah. thought he came across really well for a young man who's probably, that's, that's the first time he's probably been in front of a camera on television that's going around the world. And he looked completely calm and composed, and it didn't look like it bothered him in the slightest. I was really impressed with him. Yeah, like I say, the kids, again, the kids, I hate using the phrase, the young lads really put in the shift. I think the young lads showed um, that they are more than capable of being part of the first team setup, hmm. you know, and, and even onto uh, like match day squads, I mean. So, um, Don't know. I'm going to go with B. I'm going to go with B. You're going to go with B. Um, I am. I'm going to go Christmas C. Christmas wrapping. You're going to go C. I'm going to go B. It ain't fairy tale in New York. Definitely ain't fairy, fairy tale in New York. No. Yeah, there you go. And, and again, this is what we said. I, I, you know, Bar, Bar, Noble, and Crowd, which we've discussed earlier, don't we? The, the rest of them have got it right. Get in. The rest, the other players were carried by the youngsters. I felt. Yeah. 
Yeah, y- Yarmolenko. I know you sort of bring up the Chelsea thing, that goal he got, win the game 3-2. That's nearly two years ago. That's rolling on. Okay, he's he's earned more than two million since then, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, oh, it's like, not, off, hey, we've had enough. you know, even even a stopped clock is right twice a day, as you, you as I like to to point out. And you do, you know, he's, he's he's getting paid 110, 120, whatever it is. He's getting paid an awful lot of money a week, and it, he's he's a one trick pony. I'm sorry, but he is, and the one trick that he's got doesn't work very often. No. Vlasic, Vlasic will come good. Vlasic will come good. I just think he needs a little bit more, you know, game time. I think he needs a confidence booster. Yeah. You um, say Trodge from... about Yama, Yama won't make it. I mean, he's 32. I mean, at least with Vlasic, he's, what, 23? Yeah, he's got plenty of time. Yeah. He's got plenty of time. I think he's. I think he's got the... Listen, I don't disagree with you there that Yama's done, but I think Vlasic has yeah. got a chance. And yeah, he's out of contract in the summer, isn't he? Yeah, so hopefully. Hopefully. Um, who's Shevchenko managing now? That was, um, a, Genoa, it was a tenuous. Was it? it was a tenuous link there the other day. I think it's Genoa. I think he's he's put in... Um, there's noises that he's, he's interested in getting his Ukrainian compatriot... Yeah. Over to Genoa. So any nuggets? Uh no. No. Well what 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 what, what can I say? Myself. We've we've played them once previously. Um we got beat Beaten. last night. Um, <laughs> it's a one you know, it's a one it's a one on one it's, situation. It's, it's a, a, it's a, I'm a, I'm afraid the nuggets as far as this one were pretty much redundant, you know. It, yeah. We lost, move on. But as I say, I, I'm i pleased that the kids got their opportunity. Yes, it yeah, came much, through man. partly the fact that there was injuries and partly but the fact that we'd performed so brilliantly in the previous five matches in this competition. But no, they, they, they did what was asked of them. Yeah, I wouldn't be so. averse yeah. to seeing any of them whether it's coming off the bench or starting, I wouldn't be too fussed if I, same as you, if, if against Burnley, Longello's in at left back or Ashby's in at right back or David Moyes decides that he's going to go with the third centre-back option, he's going to be Agi Alessé on the left of a three or whatever, however he does it, would it concern me? No. It oh, might yeah, have concerned me if they himself. hadn't have played Yesterday, and that they, and, and then I'm sort of sitting there going, "Oh, that's a bit of a risk." Yeah. But on the basis of what we've just seen, no, I've I've got no real real concerns. I th- I think they and a little bit of their uh, apprehension, if you will, that they might yeah. have other if they hadn't have played yesterday and they had been do get slung in against Burnley. Yeah. Well, that's gone now. They've just played a European game. And they've, they've come just through it with the champions of Croatia. Well, one time, one time champions of Croatia, aren't they? Or are they? Did they win? No, I think I think they are the reigning champions of Croatia. Because obviously, then they lost out in the sheriff playoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and exactly, we we said that earlier, Troj. I I think for me, and I think Duke's in agreement with this. Oh, uh, without a doubt. As a left back, not a left wing back, different role. But even that, I might even sort of go. I reckon it's certainly as a left back. If, yeah. if if Cresswell was out and Moyes wanted to retain the four two three one formation, and you said to me Masuaku or Longello, Longello, please, <laughs> please, not not Mass at left back, please, anyone but Mass. Yeah, um, I completely agree with you. Completely you agree go. with you. Yeah, hey, like him on top against Newcastle. Never anything anything you want to add, Duke, before we wrap it up? Because obviously, as oh. you know, I've got a little um little gathering to to get my back. You to have, and I'm, I was conscious. I kept looking at the time, so uh, you right. you can get yourself off. No, let's rephrase that. You can go to the pie. You'll probably might have to do that later. Depends on how much she has to drink. Um, I'm working tomorrow morning. Oh yes. No, I mean so, how much she has to drink. Oh, she has to. Um, yeah, look, she's on her own. Yeah, might have to get and that's that. 
No, um, listen, I don't care. I, I, I am bothered that we lost because it, it's kind of that momentum thing. But again, it's not the end of the world. We no. move on. Game against Brighton. Um, you're not with me tomorrow, are you? No. Sorry. I'm going solo tomorrow, boys mm. and girls. He's leaving me to fly solo at about He's 8 o'clock with himself. tomorrow evening. I'm going to be... Yes, I'm not going to have anyone filling Gacy's void. Um... <laughs> So that was that I voice note be... this morning, wasn't it? I said yeah. it and then I went, oh, mm. that sounds so perverted. Maybe not. So, Some yeah, I'll be, I'll be going voice. live tomorrow on my own at about half past seven, eight, maybe 8.30, possibly nine. Yeah. Depends on. I mean, I uh, might be you... able to jump in. It depends upon what time we get back hey, from listen, you go enjoy, the West End. Um, but... you, you go enjoy, you know, um, what is it, Starlight Express? You're going to go No, watch Back it? to the is Future. That... No, Starlight Express. I'm sure that's what you said. Back to the Future. Mamma Mia. I've seen that. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I've that was all right. That, that was all right. Are you, going, are, you, are you going for the Father Christmas look with that beard? Maybe. It's very white. I know. I, did I ever tell you? Did I ever tell you? I've, I, I, I've, I've told, I've told you I played it. Father Christmas for a few years, didn't I? Did I not tell you that? I'm being dead serious. Oh, I no. didn't. Okay. I, I would, I would, you know, I would not let you anywhere uh, near. Well, no, no. It was. I was asked to do it. I was asked to do it because you know, obviously, the wife and the kids are Roman Catholic. And I oh, had me. I had me bloody self. Nice. Uh, the guy in the grey jumper. That's me. That's that's, that's me. The gray jumper. I'm in the grey yeah. t-shirt. Yeah. Um. Where was I? Yeah, no, I I played. I I was the Father Christmas for the the the, the church that me um me wife and kids all go to. The the priest was in a bit of a bind, and he said, "Is there any chance?" And I went, "He was." <laughs> go on then. But do you know what the worst part was? Right, I, I, two two funny stories that relate to this. Okay, first one involves me kids. Um, my wife turns up. Libby was a baby. So the boys would have been about four or five, something like that. So they come in and I'm there in all me Father Christmas outfit and the big long beard and this, that and the other. Um, as I say, Libby was a baby, so she was like, yeah, she didn't really know what was going on. Um, George was like, you know, oh, hello, Father Christmas and all that, you know, sort of whatever. <laughs> Owen, he looks, looks at me, looks me up and down. And he goes, hello, dad. <laughs> Five years of age. Five years of age. He looked me up and down. He went, you're my dad. And I was, I was and of course, I couldn't, I couldn't sort of break kayfabe to use the wrestling expression. I yeah. had to, no, 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 I'm not your father. I'm Father Christmas and all that sort of thing, right? Um, you, you do and he how wasn't. Much you sound like Peppa Pig's dad there, yeah? I'm, I, I might just sound a little bit like him. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Um, he, he, he wasn't having any of it. And he told me later the reason why. He said, well, number one, you were wearing the boots that you wear to work, your safety boots. Fair play number, to the kid. Number two, you had your wedding ring on. And number three, I saw your van in the car park. <laughs> <laughs> five years of age and he clocked it all he'd worked it out i was like oh he's a sharp Whatever, attack that one. right but the, the other funny story and this happened uh because I, I did it for about four or five years and we always had this guy that that turned up and i remember the first year that i did it as i say so this wouldn't so shortly after this particular episode this guy walks in now bear in mind i'm they they're sort of like they're taking money and there's the you know it's sort of like for a charity sort of thing and all the rest of it right and this guy wanders in and i'm looking and I'd, and in my head and I, I, again i i can't break tar characters i'm oh hello i'm father christmas and all that right um and in my head i'm thinking he looks a bit old. He looks quite considerably old for what I'm expecting to walk through the curtain. And we're chatting. Um, and I just turned around and I said, um, so do you go to a school around here or something? 
And he looks at me and he goes, no, I'm 24. Yeah, I was like, OK. And I, I thought, look, he's paid his money. I'm just going to I'm going I'm going to go through it. Um, yeah, the there you go. Um, and I turned I turned around to him and I said, so what what would you like for Christmas? And this killed me. He looked at me and just went, I'd like a girlfriend. And, and before I could say anything, and I kid you not. He turned around and went, and I'd like a sexy one. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I said, the only thing that came into my head that made any sense, I turned around and went, well, that might be rather difficult to wrap and put under your Christmas tree, but I'll see what I can do. <laughs> That's a very good return. Very, very and he, good came return. In, he came in every year that I, I played the role of Father Christmas. So he came in was he, a 25-year-old, 26-year-old. Was he, was he uh, um, special needs? Um, I be? believe there may have been some of that going on, potentially. Yeah. But listen, as, as I said, as far as I was That's concerned, they, they've paid the money, they've come through. You want to see Father Christmas? Okay. if I, You could be 50 for all I care. Whatever. I'm Hello, I'm Father Christmas. Here's my reindeer. Yeah. So, but you know, that was, that was good I don't want to see anything else. Yeah. But as I say, my, my son was the one that cracked me up. He just, like I say, five years of age, and he just looks me up and down and goes, hello, he Dad. Knew. And I'm like, I'm, how? How? And like I say, he told me years later, the boots, the ring, and the van cut parked in the in the van. It was a bit of a giveaway, Dad. I was like, oh, okay. Fair enough. Enough, boy. There you go. Anyway, yeah, but, we, we've gone yeah. right off topic tonight, haven't we? We have. And considering that we were going to finish 27 minutes ago. Yeah. Should we wrap it up there, my friend? Let's wrap it up. Always wrap it up. Never not use it. And and before we do that, please don't forget the campaign is still live in the description below, YouTube and Facebook. Copy and paste this. Put it on your social media platforms. This young girl still needs our help. It hasn't gone away. And obviously... This is a time of year, families, and we like to, West Ham fans, we like to pride ourselves on being a family. So let's help our family. Let's help this little girl out. She's got neuroblastoma, the treatment she cannot get in this country. She's been fighting this for years. It's an absolute hellacious situation that this yeah. family and this little girl find themselves in. So come on, let's, let's, not, let's not piss around. Time really is of the essence. Get this out there. Get this onto your social media platforms and get the momentum behind this campaign. If you are in a position, if you're lucky enough that you've got a couple of quid that you can spare in this run up to Christmas, please consider giving it on via this Just Giving link. No donation is too small. Give generously. Guys, as always, we thank you very much indeed for your attention in this matter. And please don't forget to like, comment on and share the stream. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know the rest. Um, that's pretty much all I need to say. So we got, mate. Isn't it? That's all we need. That's all we need. Um, and I'm just gonna just before we do. Uh, da, 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 yep, FA Cup Youth. Um, yeah. See you later, Elliot. Cheers, mate. As I say, I'm I've not been ignoring you. I have seen your comments, but it's like I say, we're trying to sort of do whatever. Um, Wall Sheet. Speak to you later, mate. And trod nil nil at the minute. So right, time, yeah. um, get rid of that. Oh, and come on, you irons. He says, um. Duke, how do you want to finish off? Oh, uh, well, just well. Do you, do you want to rephrase that before I come out with a comment? I probably shouldn't. No. All over. Uh, no, I just want to. Um, we, we, we are massive. Always. Come Always. on, you irons. Come on, you irons.